hey folks i haven't really been able to work on some things get on the machines for a little bit do some medical things going on uh but i'm fortunate one of the repairs that needed done my dad came in for a bit and he was a mechanic for many years and way smarter than me when it comes to this stuff but uh he helped he just came and visited and helped uh, find one of the problems and worked on it and got to give him credit for this repair that's uh larry does stuff senior you've seen him in a couple of videos uh but if you notice right here if you've got a fuel cooler system 6.4 2008 this looks different than yours now though because that's actually part of the repair um, but what you're seeing right here is the fuel cooler this is kind of like the exchanger right here you've got fuel coming in through there the fluid in here is taking heat away this is coming from a fuel cooler pump that's down accessible in the fender well if you take the wheel, the, the liner out uh, and then it comes pumps over to this exchanger here and then back out and then back up to the system through here and so on so anyway uh, what happened was I kept getting a leak over here so months ago it was just a small leak I thought uh, so I actually put a pressure cap on the reservoir and did a pressure test on it and sure enough there was a leak let me get the old pump here this is the fuel cooler pump and there was an obvious leak that I could see right here where this is assembled so probably a bad gasket or something like that but I ordered a new fuel cooler pump which goes up in there and uh, but I ordered that and it's been on the shelf here it was such a small leak I just refill it and kind of try to keep up with it uh, but since he started helping with stuff, he come out to look at it. He's going to change it out for me, uh, just reconnect the hoses and all that. Well, then he found out the other location there's a serious leak, and it was down below the uh, so charged air cooler down tube going to the air exchanger in the front. But he found a leak down in here on the fuel cooler system, and that's because the original line would have run here from a uh, I believe this was a bit of 5 8 connection on the fuel cooler and then when it gets down to the pump at the bottom it's actually a three-quarter hose so they had this intermediate metal tube uh, to exchange between the two and form it down to that system but when he got feeling around down in here he found that <laughs> there was just barely some metal in that hole uh, but once you touched it, the whole gate just kind of come out of it. So no wonder there was a leak. It just finally probably broke through the wall recently or uh, just even when we were touching it. Uh, but the problem was it was actually rubbing against this cack tube here, but down in this space here. So if you've got a leak and it's weeping, I figured that maybe some other leak there was probably from the radiator uh, side where it seals onto the aluminum. But no, nope, this was the cause. So take a peek at that. Uh, if you don't have something in it, it needed some more protection between it, a rubber pad or something like that. But all we did is we put in a, he put in a new water pump or a fuel cooler pump. And this is nothing but just three quarter radiator hose going straight down to the output discharge of the fuel cooler pump coming up. And then we've got a barb fitting and I'm hoping, yeah, ordered on Amazon next day. This is a five eighths to three quarter adapter barb. And that's what's in place there. So I can just go back to the 5 8 highs that's going on that. And then burped and got all the air out of the system and put stuff in it. So thank you, Dad, for figuring this problem out. Uh, hopefully there'll be some other things that I can uh, be able to do when some things get fixed. Uh, but simple video, but if you got a leak, check down in there along the tube. Have a good day. Take care.